Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing with you a simple DIY on how to reupholster this rocker. So we are starting off by sanding down the old color. And here I am adding acrylic felt that I will be placing under the fabric. I am using a staple gun to keep it in place. As I'm stapling down the felt, I'm leaving about an inch or two of space for my fabric. Here, as you can see, I am doubling up on the felt for a little bit more comfort. I ended up not stapling the inner bottom because I wanted to fold in the fabric and staple the inside just to have a cleaner look. So here's where it gets a little complicated. I decided to fold the fabric under the felt and staple it that way, putting the fabric right side up and just laying it over to where it's gonna lay the right way, if that makes sense. So here I am just putting it in place and folding the felt over to where I will be stapling on top of the felt versus the fabric. And that's just for the bottom, just to give it a cleaner look. And once you lay the fabric over, you will have something like this. Moving on to the front, so what I did here is I folded about an inch of the fabric inward and stapled it down. Now moving on to the back of the rocker, repeating the same steps, leaving about an inch of the fabric, folding it inward and stapling it down. You also wanna make sure you pull to tighten as you're stapling.
Moving on to the bottom cushion. So here we have the bottom frame. You will place the felt first, then the foam. You wanna make sure you secure the felt, then secure the foam. That is just gonna prevent um, shifting and moving of the foam. Once that is secure and in place, we are now ready to move on to the fabric. Leaving about an inch or two and stapling it down, making sure that we are pulling and stapling. As we get to the corners here, you will see that I am tucking it in, folding it, and then stapling. Moving on to the stain, I have placed some painter's tape on the edges so that I don't stain the actual fabric. After a couple strokes, I noticed the stain was flying everywhere, so I placed plastic over the entire fabric to prevent any mishaps. Here, as you can see, the staples are visible, so I decided to cover them up. I am using a specific trim for that purpose. I'm also going to dazzle it up a little bit, so I'm going to measure the in-between space from the cushion to the first tack. And as you're placing your tack or your nail, you wanna make sure you go ahead and pull the same as you did to the fabric. And I want it to leave about five to six inches in between each tack. As I got to the bottom, I went ahead and left enough trim to staple underneath where it's not visible. If you're wanting more of a simple look, you can use a spray adhesive to place the trim over the staples.
Moving on to the completion of the DIY, I am just placing the arm rest cushions. And here is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. I will link everything I used down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.